Hi all. In my today's video class, I'll talk about creating and, um, and installing an OEZI bundle in Apache Flix. Flix is an OEZI based container. Uh, so in a video, previous video class, I, I have shown you how do we install Apache Flix on uh, Linux environment. So I'm using Linux Mint here and um, as you can see, my OEZ Felix is running, Apache Felix is running here and uh, I'm using NetBeans as an IDE to create my OEZ bundle. So NetBeans has an it's a rich IDE which has its support to create OEZ based uh, bundles. So to get started, open I have already opened the NetBeans IDE. In the project explorer, you can just click on uh, Click on new project, then in the Maven category, you can choose OJ bundle, click on next, and you can fill in the information, the project name, the group ID, and the package. So this will be a typical um, a typical Maven based project. So I have already created one. So when you create it first time, it is going to take uh, around uh, two to three minutes because it has to download all the artifacts required uh, for this project yeah so if you uh, expand the project structure I have created a project by name grid so the name the project name is grid OEC bundle and um, if you are aware of the my typical maven projects it has the source packages the project file where it has uh, listed the format XML and uh, dependencies if there are any and Java dependencies so as I am working on a OEGI based project or I'm creating OEGI bundle so I need this core uh, dependency and uh, the core 1.7 Java um, I did so the Java dependency uh, result to be 1.7 here automatically it is run by your ID so you, you don't have to do anything now interestingly it has created one package inside the source package whatever package name we have given there if you expand that it has created a class by name activated.java now what is the purpose of this is so OSGI bundles um, when you register the OSGI bundle or, or when you install a OSGI bundle an activator is required to activate uh, your um, necessary classes let's say you have um, two three um, service classes which you are going to expose them as services through bundle or what I can say is when you make them available to other bundles you have to register them, you have to activate those classes. So the activation process is done by this activator class. So it has two callback methods, one is start, one is stop. So whenever you are installing a bundle, the start method will be called. Whenever you are stopping the bundle, uh, the stop method will be called. So I'm going to show you how do you do that in a OEJ container. So let's to have a raw or empty activator class, which doesn't do anything just to, just on the start of the method. We can see uh, uh, the activate sorry the start method is getting called so that's what uh, we're gonna do it do now uh, in the subsequent videos I'll just show you how do you register a service and um, what um, how do we do that now um, in this class I have not done much anything I just uh, uh, I'm just doing a sys out here just to identify that I am printing something during uh, during start and stop of the bundle okay so my bundle is ready so what I can do I can just right click here and I just do clean and build my bundle will be built So when you work with OEGI bundles, it's very uh, good to have an rich ID like NetBeans or IntelliJ is, is also a good candidate to start with, uh, but you still can rely on Eclipse also. Okay, so, okay, so here my project structure is here, home, admin, the NetBeans project folder and the project name here, I can go here, admin. So NetBeans project and greet. Let's see. I'll open this. 
target and uh, this is my uh, jar file the generated jar file okay so i am interested in the path okay now let's move back to the now the bundle is ready we have to deploy that to a uj container as i told you i have already installed my felix apache felix and this already running now let me do lb it will start for list bundle so it lists down all the available bundles now let's say i am going to install this bundle so the command is install file and the path here Now you can see bundle id is 5 now i can do lb and you can see the number 5 great oj bundle whatever bundle we have created is being installed and this is installed state now uh, we need to start the bundle so what you can do is the command is start and uh, the bundle id so each bundle is associated uh, with an id you can give the bundle uh, number the id with the bundle number so what you can do is you can give start bundle and by hit enter okay now what you can what we have seen is uh, the activate bundle uh, whatever uh, see what we have done in the start of the method activate method that is being printed so your bundle is registered so during registration time whatever activity you want to perform here you can do it so that's the main purpose of your activated classes mostly we register the classes which are going to be exposed in the bundle we are we are register we have to register them in this in the start method of the of the activator class. Now similarly, if I want to stop it, so this is pretty sim similar similar stop the bundle ID, and you can see the stop method is called the life cycle callback method start and stop. So whenever you are registering bundle, it will be the start method of the activator class will be called. Whenever you are stopping or unregistering the bundle, then the stop method will be called before uh, calling it. So in my subsequent video, I'll um, I'll show you how do you create a service and how do you register through the Activator class. So watch out for the next videos. Thank you.